no secret that screens and phones, they've been ruining our brains. And me and everyone else have been accepting it with open arms as doing something like reading is outdated to some people. Well, not me. I love reading, but you know what I mean. And our attention spans have been demolished. And if you're like me with a low attention span and you want to play some story games that look enticing to you, but they just, you can't do it because you just can't, you can't pay attention. The story isn't gripping. You just, you lose track. Your mind races. Well, I just felt like talking about some games that really kept me engaged the entire time and that I actually finished. So let's get into it. Number one. Disco Elysium is an isometric game, an RPG at that, that just lets you do whatever you want, really. And there's tons of ways you can do it. Um, you're a drunk detective that just woke up in a hotel and needs to find, with his partner Kim, the, um, why there's a hung man in the middle of this city. And there's a lot of stuff. There's a, there's um, worker strikes going on, you know, the classic murder, you know, the classic bullying, the classic beating people up. The combat is based on dice rolls, you know. Um, try to play this one without uh, going back on your save. Just play through it. Um, the writing is some of the best I've ever seen, ever. And just looking at footage makes me want to play it all over again. Damn. Take that attention span. As we take a quick break after game one, we seem to be saying the word um a lot, so we will try to tone it down. But I honestly think I'm just going to keep saying it because that's who I am. Number two? Smiley face. Elden Ring. Wow, Elden Ring. Not a game about old people, or about rings, really. Um, I didn't even wear a ring playing it, but it was still great to me. Um, even I just kept dying over and over and over again, so I think my low attention span was just so mad half the time that it wasn't allowed to be distracted. So I think that's one of the reasons, and the fact that a random NPC wasn't just following me around telling me what to do. That was nice. So thanks, Elden Ring. Keep it up. Number three! Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night. Wow, thanks, me. Um, here we have a game about an angry girl just smacking the crap out of demons with her demon buddy and a couple friends. Um, there's some twists. The story's not bad, but the great thing about being able to pay attention in this game is you just get to use so many different weapons and abilities to just destroy people. It's so fun, and you just find random rooms. Um, Lots of things to do, not a lot of stuff to make you get distracted or stop you on your progress. You pretty much do whatever you want here. Um, the game is hard as well. Um, I think easy games are a little anno annoying, like like because you can just kind of autopilot, so this one's good. Number four. The Last of Us, part one and two. Thanks, me. Um, I don't have gameplay of these since I don't really know where my PlayStation is right now, but I decided to just do a very poorly picture of their gigantic faces on the screen, which I hope everyone likes, of course. And speaking of the game, um, Ellie and Joel are some of the best characters I've ever seen in any media form. The relationship between them two is better than pretty much every movie I've ever seen. I, I can't even describe the the grippingness, the drippingly, grippingly beautifulness of this game. And everyone hates the second game, and it makes me so sad because 
it's just it's perfect and i mean the gameplay is good too but that's not what i'm talking about and i mean attention span wise a story that good keeps me going because why would it not part five colon p tunic tunic was a game released this year um it had been announced a long time ago and honestly the the art is just perfect to me it's like a little soulsy like game which i hate the word soulsy like but it is i guess um not a lot of story but the story that's there is i think it's great they made up their own little language and what really kept me not distracted from this game is you look for pieces of like an old game guide book that you'd find like back in the day and they have their own little language in there and that can really help you uh look for like clues in the game it's, it's great and the, the gameplay is great um it's fun just rolling around and hitting stuff hitting some bushes hitting some trees um everything was great no hand holding i give tunic a pay attention out of 10. i have nothing else to say and this video is just me rambling because it's fun thank you to my ones of followers and subscribers out there and i hope everyone has a blessed monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday whichever day it is